Hey class, I want to talk to you about hand strength. Now, when people think hand strength, they probably think grip strength. Uh, now, that is part of the factor, but grip strength workouts generally tend to focus on the forearms. And um, in some cases, I want to get a little more specific and focus on the smaller moving pieces of the hand as well as the strength of the tendons and ligaments and everything that supports it. Today, our focus is going to be on the strength of our fingertips, right? So I'm going to call this the claw strength. What I mean is that that's the strength that we're building up. Now, it is helpful for grabbing onto things and hanging onto things. I actually know some people that have enough claw strength that they can grip specific muscles and tear them from their connections. Uh, we're not going to worry about all that quite yet, but it's also nice to be able to have some strength in your fingertips to be able to jab and poke people and cause some pain that way. So that's what we're going to be developing. Now, classical way of developing finger strength is fingertip push-ups. Um, you can do those if you want. I don't believe they're necessary and I don't think it's the best way to build finger strength. My issue with them is that they tend to collapse the fingers and they overextend them backwards, which is not what our goal is here. For the moves we're going to be doing, um, our fingertip strength, we want the ability to hold the fingers relatively straight, but we're actually gonna have a gentle curve forward, like so. So like I said, claws, that's what we're going for, right? So each joint, each knuckle is gonna have a slight curve forward. That's gonna be the way we're building these techniques up. Now, the way I like to practice them, you're welcome to try these. Now, keep in mind it puts a lot of wear and tear on your ligaments, so I wouldn't do this more than once a week or so if you're trying to build up the strength and you're serious about this. This is how we do it, right? Find flat surface, tabletop, textbook, got a stool here, this works just fine. Flatten your hand out entirely, so like a suction cup, right? Flatten it out, and then dig the tips of your fingers into that surface. Now that will already start to engage quite a bit. From here, drag it. And as you drag, try to resist being peeled off of the surface, almost like you're hanging onto a cliffside and you don't want to fall, right? Do it again. Drag. Now you'll notice when you do this that you'll feel it more in your fingers than your thumb. That's okay. You'll be surprised at how much other muscle this recruits for your body as well. So that'll be fingertips. That's going to be primarily four. You're welcome to do all four. If that gets easy, you can do three at a time, two at a time, single finger. But believe me, this is going to give you plenty of workout just focusing on these four. Now we're going to do the same thing, but for the thumb. Now before we were palm down, this time we're going thumbs up and we're just going to find the edge of that table, pinch down and drag. Drag. Drag, drag. You'd be surprised at how quick this will make your hands tired. You're gonna feel it all over. That's good, that's what we're going for. We're building up that finger strength. That'll be helpful here shortly.